Yeah, well, I hope so. Not everybody's getting the rain, yeah, so the cheers too. are kind of localized around Austin today, but it's a pretty good place to be. That's where the, the population center is, right, Robert? Let's take a look. We almost hit 100 degrees this afternoon, and then just in the nick of time, we started seeing this on the radar. That's what we mean by isolated showers. When we put isolated showers in the forecast, there's one here, there's one there, but not very many people are going to see them. Right now, we've got a little bit down here in Fayette County, just to the west of LaGrange, some down there not too far from Flatonia. Uh, the activity that was in Bastrop County a little bit ago, moving now mainly into Travis County, just north of Del Valley. It's going to move right up into East Austin. Looks like a little northwesterly component to that, so that one may miss the downtown Austin area, but may give you folks in North Austin a little rain before too long. Pflugerville getting a little shower activity here pretty soon. Round Rock 2, uh, some parts of the Cedar Park area with a little bit of rain. And out in the hill country, it's been pretty sparse this afternoon. Uh, the clouds, though, towering right now over the city, and those have been nice blocking out the sun and with the rain around decreasing the temperature a little bit. That's a live view from our tower camera there. And you tilt up, you can see some of the higher tops in some of those showers, like that one right there. That one's putting down a pretty good little downpour. That's the one I showed you a minute ago that's falling right now over eastern uh, Travis County. You can see the darker sky back there, too. So hopefully that holds together long enough to give you folks in uh, central, central North Austin a little relief here pretty soon. A lot of clouds back to the south, end of the southeast, too. But as you saw on the radar, fewer showers down that direction. It's 85 degrees in Austin. That is nice. One of the coolest 5 o'clock temperatures we have seen since, well, the rain 10 days ago. 90 is where we're forecasting to be at 8 o'clock, and that's not a mistake. Uh, after the rain stops, the sunshine comes back out before sunset. We're likely to warm back up, maybe as much as 5 degrees, and then by 10 o'clock tonight, back down to 87. 91 degrees in Lano right now, 93 in Burnett, 93 in Marble Falls. Metro area temperatures, most of them rain cooled. Still pretty hot up there in Georgetown where it hasn't rained. It's 99 there. 99 in Milam County, but uh, 95 in Bastrop and Smithville, and 94 down in Lula. Austin's mostly cloudy officially in 85, 91 out at the airport with a mostly cloudy sky. Our winds south southwesterly at 6, easterly at 14 out at the airport. Sunsets 837 tonight. Mole count still high, but down about 1,000 from yesterday at 2553. Around the state, pretty hot everywhere, 97 up in Dallas, 95 in Houston, 90 down in Corpus Christi at this hour. Uh, a little bit of tropical moisture in place today, and we can actually thank uh, the remnants of tropical storm Arlene down in Mexico for uh, still supplying us with enough moisture to interact with the heat of the day to give us our isolated rain showers. And you know what? The ridge of high pressure sliding off to the northeast over the next several days may open the door to the Gulf of Mexico to give us one or two isolated showers, mainly in the afternoon, heat of the day, kind of like today. Over the next several days, maybe not as many as we saw today, temperature is going to drop a degree or two as a result of that pattern change, so you'll hardly notice it. There are your lows tonight. There are your highs tomorrow, back up close to 100, I'm afraid. In Austin, 75 showers go away when the sun goes down. Tomorrow, 99, about a 10% chance that you could have an afternoon shower cool you down. But most likely, you're going to be into the upper 90s, pretty hot and uncomfortable uh, before that happens. And generally, the same weather pattern, not only through the 4th of July, but through most of next week, too, Robert.